Okay, so today we've got a bit of an interesting video going over this here. Well, was a power color Vega 64, 8 gigabytes of VRAM, pretty standard stuff. The power color Red Devil Edition, as you can tell by the extendoness on the PCB. And uh, at one point, it had a bit of a fiery explosion happen on it, and it's dead. So, I got it for fairly cheap, and already set up the trade to get rid of this thing. So, let's go over what I did to try and resurrect it, because it was dead when I got it. So, when I got it, as you can see, the, well, there's quite a big burn area there uh, on the front side, which is this area here. I uh, scraped it a lot, as you can see here. Yeah, that's, in that picture, it's still, still shorted. So, a lot of scraping and removing crap, and removed the shorts. So, uh, yeah. Now got this bodge wire going from where 12 volts used to come in. There used to be an inductor here, and uh, got rid of that, hoping that I could just get rid of the short in the process. Uh, no. So, got rid of that. Stort, short stayed, so fuck, I had to actually get rid of it. Uh, but, have a wire coming from 12 volts, which is after the inductors for the 8 pin uh, PCIe power connectors. So they come together, go through their own inductors, then join into this giant power plane here. Scrape a little bit off, solder a wire. It goes around the back of the board over to here and in. And that charges these three rails. Uh, these rails are not what Tech Power Up has them as. They've got them in the wrong order. So up top is 0.9 volts reference. The middle one is 1.8 volts reference, and the bottom one is uh, whatever the one that changes here is. I was measuring it as 1.3 volts. And as you can see, I have the fly wires to test that. And I only cleaned up the die this well for this video. It was... <sighs> yeah. So then you've got your V-core, which... If you have a dead core, doesn't start. And then you have your VMM, which if you have a dead core, does start, and it's all running at like 1.2 volts. So all the voltages going into the core, except for V core because it hasn't started, are good. Uh, I don't have a volt reading for the PLL down here because uh, I don't know where to measure it and I'd already found out that B core wasn't starting at this point because, well, it's a royal pain in the ass to fight with the burn mark to have, well, down the short. So there's a few shorts in this card. Uh, the main one, which I think was caused by what initially went wrong, was between the 12 volt uh, PCIe in and ground because what power color did is they had one layer of 12 volt and then one layer of ground and then i don't know what's down here but i know that it was 12 volt and then immediately the next layer down was ground and they had a couple of capacitors here kind of right there that are very missing and i think that's what caused the issue is one of them shorted and that just cascaded into a giant fireball or exploded due to a bad power supply don't know history of the card is well i know who owned it and they were having issues with their power supply that they were using at the time so other than that and the core being dead um i think this board would actually work now because the connector for the LED, which is just on a switch, seems to work. Like, the LED works, and the switch works. 
uh, when you plug in the fans, um, the fans do spin up if the core is warm. So something's working there. Don't know what, but something's working there. So I guess it's time to look at the back side of this board and well, you can see some of the finer work I had to do. So as you can see, it's just the same wires as before, just being pulled off. Also, it didn't pull out, but I have a ground wire. That's how I was getting ground for testing. And here's the 12 volt power rail memory. And then down here, you can see two very fine wires that are a royal pain in the ass to solder. And that is the SM bus because the vias, well, they'd be there. And as you can see, I've got three wires going through the PCB there, and I didn't use a drill. I was able to find a picture and figure out how they go, so they are actually soldered correctly. But, yeah, no, this is, this fucker's dead. Like, it, it's dead. Really dead. And, uh, what killed the core? I don't think it was the ex fiery explosion caused by the capacitors, because they did a they didn't number but i don't think it was them because that was on the 12 volt side and that doesn't go into the core and all of the vrms are actually still working so i think it was shipping it around the world because this was originally supposed to go to buildzoid and it never showed up after like two months in the post got returned to sender bad address i think and then it was getting get sent to me, but it got returned to sender bad address after like a month. And then the third time around, it actually got to me with this amazing uh, customs declaration. Yeah, that's a glorious customs declaration, if I've ever seen one. Card doesn't work. Card didn't work. And card's dead. But uh, if you see a dead Vega online, just stay clear of it. Um, these things, there's really shitty documentation, if any, online. Because my only references was the Tech Power Up uh, review of this card. Because they've got really good pictures of the PCB. But that was it. And even then... They didn't have the VRM over here labeled correctly. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. And also their callouts for what parts is on it is wrong. Um, well, at least in the minor rails, it's correct for the rest of it. But for the minor rails, it's wrong. Uh, but if I plug this thing in, it doesn't burst into flames anymore. So, eh, that's good. And, uh... Thanks for watching. If you've got a card that you want to send into this, uh, let me know. Uh.